good afternoon. It's a pretty hot day today. I got a number of um, notifications from homeowners and other people about the number of fish in the stormwater drain. Early December we had that fairly heavy downpour and what happened is the fish came up the stormwater drains. A lot of South African fish are in fact what we call floodplain breeders. So when the river floods, they'll go out onto the floodplain and that's where they breed. As the water retreats, so the fry come back into the channel. And that's what's happened. The trouble is, there's not a river. So the stormwater drains trap them and they're trapped in these little pools. So what we're doing is we're coming in to rescue as many as we can. Now, normally, um, if I'm transferring fish, I'd use a throw net, but this is too small. We do two or three runs and we'll see how many we can get. If I'd left them, they would die, and that's a waste of fish, but they would then attract flies and all sorts of stuff like that. Obviously, the birds would have come in and taken out some of them, the hummocops and ibis and what have you. Um, but I need them actually in one of the smaller lakes, so that's what we're doing. We'll transfer them. It'll be a bit of a process, because we've got to do all the pools down here. Um, but it's worthwhile. Uh, this way I don't have to go and try and catch fish out of the larger lakes to reintroduce. Oreochromus, uh, the blue copper, um, is very good at mosquito control. So the lake they're going to, a small pond, um, there's no fish in it at the moment that we know of. So these will increase the biodiversity, uh, help with mosquito control, and of course they will then attract kingfishers and all that sort of cool stuff.